they did it wrong. Mm -hmm. I ordered it, you know, medium well, um, but it was rare. It's rare, rare. It, it was rare. It was rare. And I. What up, what up, what up? It's Jaws. Hey, y'all. I'm Tay. And welcome back to another episode of It's Jaws and Tay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, we got something special for y'all today. We are trying one of my favorites, yep. Simmer Down. Simmer Down is a steakhouse based out of Ball, Mississippi. Uh, they currently have two locations, one in Ball and one in Dumas. And so, yeah, we just want to give them a try. Uh, kind of switching up a little bit. Uh, kind of getting out of Tupelo. Now we kind of head up a little bit north to Baldwin. So, uh, what we got, Jaworski, you can go ahead and show them yours. Yep. So, for me, um, um, Simmer Down is famous for their steak for two special. Um, and they give you four sides. So, what me and Tay did was we got a steak for two. Um, we They cut it in half for us because we got it cooked to the temperature that we like. Yep. For me, um, I got mine medium rare. And for my two sides, I'm doing mashed potatoes and broccoli. And um, I had a little um, shrimp add-on. So I got me two skewers added on. Um, that was for me personally and a roll. All right. And then me, of course, I got green beans. This is my first side. Okay. And then I got a salad. Long go on my steak. Me, personally, for my steak, I like medium well. And then for dessert, we got uh, caramel brownies. That's what we got for dessert. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Before we get into the video, before we start eating, remember, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 100 subscribers. We're getting very close, actually. We are. We are. Uh, and uh, like the video and share. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure y'all share. Um, man, I really don't want to even do too much talking. All right. We just really get into it, man. man. It's a no Sunday. Um, for me, um, my drink of choice today, it being a Sunday, I'm relaxing oh, today. Yeah. Had to get me a brewski right. to go with my oh, steak. Boy, so, right. I got you. So we going to um, enjoy this, man. I'm ready to dig in. Same. Let's, let's go ahead let's, and get let's, into let's it. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the shrimp. So That's I got a question for you, Jawaski. First What's question good? I got to ask you. Mm -hmm. When did you start eating your steaks medium rare? Because like for me personally, growing up, like my mom told me, always get well done. And then when you become an adult, you're like, mm -hmm. that's not the best taste and quality for a steak. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, right. Done. I started, actually, it was an accident how I started mm -hmm. eating my steak like that. Um, once went to a steakhouse, and they did it wrong. Mm -hmm. I ordered it, you know, medium well, um, but it was rare. And it's rare or rare? It, it was rare. It was rare. And I bit into it, and that's when I realized it. And it was good. So, after doing my research and stuff, and, you know, looking up steaks, how steaks supposed to be cooked, uh -huh. I just been eating so like that ever since. But first bite, it's good, y'all. Seasoning for this steak is really good. Yeah, seasoned real well on the shrimp. Which oh yeah, okay. yeah, shrimp. Yeah, I had to get shrimp. Um, Tay doesn't eat shrimp. Nope, <laughs> do not eat shrimp. I'm gonna try some of the broccoli. Mm. This is good. Show y'all peace of mind. I'm gonna go. On. Head and cut into mine. See what we're working with here. Green bean. Okay. 
This is actually my yeah. first time. I'm gonna show y'all mine before I take that first bite. The jaws reaction. That's good. That's good. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. Nope. It's like it's just right. And I don't know their method for cooking it, but it is unique. It is because you know I'm I, I'm. I guess you could say I'm not gonna call myself a pro, but I'm an avid steak cooker. I make I eat steak. You call yourself a, a connoisseur, you know. Yeah, a connoisseur you know? of sort. Like and it, it it it's unique to a point where you know you have to it, like if you want a steak, you know, obviously you can always make a steak at yes. home. But this is if you want to simmer down, so it has its own unique like flavor, flavor texture. Yeah. Yes. Like we're talking on the way back from the restaurant, it's like they grill them in house, basically. Mm -hmm. So the way they cook them is very unique. Very mm -hmm. customer service is also very very friendly. Uh, the cashier that we had spoke to, she recognized us. Yeah, on Facebook, so we had you know a little moment. Yeah, okay. yeah, I had a little green moment. You know. <laughs> mm. Salad is really good. Mm hmm. Another fun fact we found out about Simmer Down, they just celebrated their uh, five year anniversary. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations to Simmer Down. Five years in the restaurant industry is a long time, especially for um, something being locally owned. Absolutely. That mashed potato is mm. good. And yeah. for the mashed potatoes, like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but um, I got mine wheat gravy, but you know, before we. Um, played everything. I stirred it up. You know, I I, I was nipping before we started. Actually, <laughs> you know, um, filming. But can I not to? It was smelling so good. Yeah, huh? yeah. Um, but good mashed potatoes. Um, they use real potatoes. Like because um, I can tell. You know, this has been a fresh potato that was yes. mashed and ground up. Yes. So brownie points because a lot of places right. use instant. So brownie points. They do use real potatoes. Mm -hmm. And normally, with, you know, with mashed potatoes. The first thing you do is, you know, throw your little salt and pepper on there. You um, didn't use any, did you? Yeah, I, I didn't use any for this. This is this is fine just like it is. I mean, cool. it, you know, some people do it anyway just out of it is nature, you know, nature of habit. Yes. But, no, nah, it's not. It's fine like it is. It rolls pretty good, too. I mm -hmm. I, and, look, I've been going to simmer down a while. Mm -hmm. But I've never actually tried their bread. I, I'm not a real really? bread. Yeah, oh, okay. Bread is, so. Take about it. Mm -hmm. It looks like a yeast roll, maybe. Yeah, probably a standard dinner yeast roll. Yeah, yeah standard dinner yeast roll. It's good. Yeah. That may have buttered it down a little bit, but it's good. The steak though is just really good. It is. Mm -hmm. Um, for it to be a sirloin mm -hmm. is. You know, normally I'm a ribeye or yeah, quarter half type of person, same. but um, this is actually um, a full sirloin. The steak itself um, is, I believe, 22 ounces total. Yes. Which is, you know, tremendously, you know, fair for, for what is. you're getting in. And if I'm correct, like the what we got, which is the uh, steak for two, is actually a very popular menu item, especially right. for couples. It is very popular. Yeah, again, easy to cut into, very well seasoned, and take it tastes really good. And like I said, it's one of those things like it has its own unique taste, which that's what I like about mm -hmm. it. So it's not like you know your average, you know, um, outback or Texas right, Roadhouse. Right. It, it's it, it's it's its own creation. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. 100%. Maybe have like a special marinade or something? That's what I was thinking too. Maybe they let, it, they let it marinate before they cook it. It's something special that they do with the steak. I bet my money on it. Yep. I usually like a sweet potato and a baked potato with mine, but the green beans are actually pretty good. Huh? Just to give y'all a little bit of a look and see. The one ingredient that I can definitely taste in it is that the black pepper. Yeah. Oh yeah. It even got some pepper in. 
And it has like a slight kick to it. Mm -hmm. Maybe hit a paprika? Maybe? No? Probably not. Yeah, it, man, it's some kind of zesty scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, you can taste it. It's not real may, strong. May, may, maybe a, a slap of Cajun on it? Maybe? I don't know. Could, could be Cajun. You, you are right. Could be. <clears throat> you can tell by how it looks, though. It's, it's something on here. As far as Cajun or... Could be Cajun. Maybe I could hit a Cajun to it. Regardless, it's good. It Regardless. is good. And they actually, they've seasoned the broccoli with something that, you know, it's caving as well. It's okay. not spicy, but it's like, it, it, it kind of, yeah, it pops in your mouth when you bite it. And it's not just, boom, you know, bland broccoli that was just. Yes. Like, you can definitely tell they cook the food for love, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And Good. now, I'm not a salad eater. But another thing that Simmer Down is probably for is they have a very large salad bar. Yes. And you make your own salad. So um, what'd you get in yours, Ty? Kind of plain. I'm kind of a health freak. I got uh, just plain lettuce, cheese, and eggs with mine. You know, I like to have a little protein, you know, with my food. So basically what I got. But that salad bar is very pretty. I put that in the beginning of the video. It's it's really big. Like Jawaski said, you can fix your own salad, basically. Yep. And that's something a lot that of helpings. you know. I, like I said, I'm not a big salad fan. You know, I, I'm unhealthy, so <laughs> you know, that's just that. And if you don't want a steak uh, on Sundays, they offer a plate lunch special, which I also included at the beginning of the video. So they offer that as an option as well. Mm -hmm. And they have a very diverse menu. They do fish, ribs, pork chops. Uh, we should have tried the ribs. We should have tried the ribs. We should have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, like I said earlier, I've been going to Simmer Down for a while, and I've actually tried their um, fish before. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's good. It's, it's, you know, for their fish that, that I've had in the past. Yes. Um, They have their own, like, unique batter. It's not... You know, <clears throat> over the top, but right. it's, 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 it's pretty good. It, yeah, it's, it's above average, basically. Yeah, above average. You I got know. you. This will be my third time being Simmer Down. Yeah, I actually, the first time you ate it, we, we went together, right? We did. Yeah, we, we did. Sure we did. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm correct, it was last year. Yep. When we went. Yes, sir. Man, I tell you, I, I hate you don't eat shrimp because this shrimp is. I can tell it's good. It's been blackened, too. Mm -hmm. It's blackened. So they have options for flavors of the shrimp. You can they do like lemon, do. lemon pepper. You can do Cajun, or you can do strictly just straight up grilled with no seasoning on. Me, I, I went ahead and got my Cajun. And you know what? Since she said that, I bet they use Cajun season for the steaks. She said that too. Probably, probably do. They probably, they probably do. do. But it tastes good, y'all. Tastes really good. And then another thing I like about something normally when you order. A shrimp school at a steakhouse. Mm -hmm. They kind of think they put like full on, you know. Right. This they one, it down. Yeah, the, these are good. Let's see. It's funny because you got you got country buy steak sauce. You didn't even touch the steak sauce. No, I have not. <laughs> you haven't even touched it. Yep. Um, my favorite steak sauce is country Bob's. Um, but I haven't touched it. Um, like I'm I'm enjoying the flavor of the steak. Right. You know. Normally, I, I, have, I always have it as a precaution. And that's normally something about me, y'all. I don't do any steak sauce. I like to actually taste the steak. I don't do A1. I don't do Country Bob. I just like to taste the steak. Genuinely. Got to. Mm -hmm. So, tell you, let me ask you. Have you ever tried your steak anything under medium? Occasionally, I'll try, maybe they'll, when I go out, they may give me medium. Mm -hmm. I won't complain about it. I will eat medium. Because you one time you cook me a medium steak. Mm -hmm. But anything below medium, I can't do it. Can't do it. There's just too much love for me. I can't do it. I, I, I can do rare 
Not only on certain cuts. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Speaking of cuts, or uh, speaking of our preferences, tell us, comment below if you made this part of the video. How do you like your steak? Do you like it? Well done, medium, rare, blue rare. <laughs> do you ever have no, a rare? <laughs> no, I, I, look, I am not that bold. I, blue rare is a... I had a customer at my restaurant, which I, I'll dive into too, because a lot of y'all don't know I used to own a restaurant. He loved, he liked his steak as rare as possible. And he's going to see this video too. He loved his steak as rare as possible. He said if he could, he would eat it off the cow, basically. So, yeah. But, yeah, comment so, down below. So, you saying he just like you to slap it in the microwave? That, that, that's <laughs> basically it. That's, that's how rare he wanted it done. Yes, sir. No. no. I ain't that, you know, I'm not that mature. <laughs> Maybe one day, but as of now. You know, medium rare is probably my my comfort spot. Right, it's your comfort spot. I tell you, I was very happy with this broccoli. I'm pretty with everything. Like I can't complain. Like this is pretty good. I tell you, man, I, <clears throat> this is it's money. Yeah, it's awesome. And then, you know, for all the food you get, you know, it's enough for two people. Mm -hmm. Really can't complain about that. Either. None at all. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. You know, we got to say rest in peace to the legendary Bill Russell. Yeah, man. I, rest in peace to him, mom. Um, man. You, you, you was the one that told me he had passed. I, he, it just happened, right? It literally just happened. According to this video, we found out he passed. So rest in peace to Bill Russell. Yeah, it was absolutely rest in peace. Not man. really a Boston Celtic fan myself, but I mean, just for what he did for the game, he was the first African American uh, coach of any major sports franchise back in the 60s. So, you know, he, he definitely paved the way for a lot of coaches for in today's game. So, you know, rest in peace to Bill. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, Okay, you brought up basketball, so let's tell the people, who's your team? Unfortunately, the Lakers. Lakers. You no, know, hopefully we trade Westbrook here soon. <laughs> Still hoping. Hoping and praying we trade him, but um, I'm a Lakers fan. Um, I like Milwaukee and East mm -hmm. as well. What about you? So, don't shoot me. Don't shoot you. Don't shoot me. But I am a Warriors fan. What? I am a Warriors fan. I've known you for five years. This is like the first time you've spoken of the Warriors, huh? I am a Warriors fan. And the reason I'm a Warriors fan is because I like winning. I like winning. But y'all wasn't winning for the past two years, though. You never you never spoke of Golden State. Well. Where was you at the past two years? Man, the past two years? Huh? I was there, but, I, you know... I'm more of a football fan anyway. That is, that is true. So we're we'll gonna get into that next. It's true. But yeah, I am a Warriors fan. Mm. Now, so I know you was happy last month, then. I was. I, I was happy to see him win. Now, here's the thing. Is that? I actually, you know, since I'm not as big an NBA fan as the NFL, yes, I, I kind of have two teams. Okay. One, I'm a Golden State Warriors fan, and, and this last series I was a little torn because I tell you, they, we talked about it. things didn't really go the way I wanted to see them play out, but I'm also a Memphis fan. Yeah, oh yeah, we got to support the, the local home team. Yeah, we got to go with Memphis, man. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I, I, because I, yeah. I told you, if, 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 if anybody beats the Warriors, that I wouldn't be mad about, that would be Memphis. And I think that Memphis actually would have beat Golden State if Ja didn't get hurt, in my opinion. Yes, I believe the same thing, but, you know, I, I will say Memphis is going to be a problem for years to come. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that I will say. But what about NFL? <laughs> mm -hmm. Had to chew that bad, but it was good. Um... NFL, New York Giants. New York I know Giants? we suck. I know we suck. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do suck. Yeah, we, we suck bad. bad. Haven't been good for a few years, but um, I've been a Giants fan since '07 when they uh, beat the Patriots at Year's Super Bowl. Okay. Uh, but yeah, New York Giants fan. For me, I am a Baltimore Ravens fan. That's right. 
You like you like Lamar? Okay, yeah, yep. okay, not bad. Baltimore Ravens. Okay. That that is my team. It's been my team for a long time. Um, I was always a fan of Ray Lewis. That that's how. Yeah, I love Ray Lewis and Ed Reed, man. Yeah, yeah, Shannon Sharp too. Back in the day, you you know, when, when you think for for years, um, the past few years, like. Maybe three, four, five years ago, mm-hmm. the whole talk of the league was leading the boom, like what the Seahawks defense yes. was doing. Yes, sir. They and I argue it to this day. They got it from Seattle. I mean, they got it from Baltimore. Yeah, they got that from Baltimore. They yeah. they, they adapted that play style from Baltimore. The real leading of boom started with Ed Reed and Ray Lewis. Yes. I don't care what nobody says. I, I argue it all day long. They had the number one defense that year, two thousand. I agree. So, oh yeah, secondary team, the Chiefs for me. Secondary team. The Chiefs? Yes. Um, I played uh, basketball against Chris Jones, one of the defensive linemen mm-hmm. in high school. So I've been a fan of his. Basically, that's kind of why I'm, I'm a fan of the Chiefs, one of the reasons why. Yeah, Mahomes is really good, too. He is. He is. Do you think they're going to miss Tyreek Hill? They'll miss him. But not that much. But, I mean, they'll get over it. Asian I- guy. He's starting, he's starting to age a little bit. I do feel like now Tyreek Hill mm-hmm. is probably going to miss the Chiefs more than the Chiefs is going to miss Tyreek Hill. I agree. That was making fun of Toa. Say he can't throw long balls like that, you know. So we'll have to see. Y'all, that steak and bread on a Sunday, who we? Good combination. Good, huh? good combination. Man, you missing out. FYI, don't drink. Never have drink, you know. Yeah. Man, look, steak and beer on them. <laughs> if you know, you know. I ain't gonna contest to you, hey. Oh, I'm sure we got plenty mm-hmm. of subscribers. I'm, you know, I'm sure too. That, that if you know, you know. So what about college? NCAA. Who's your college football team? Mississippi State. Yeah, we got a Hell State. Hell State. We like the ring cowbells here mm-hmm. at the Eastern Tate in Jones Show. And the region. I'm Mississippi State man. It's not even necessarily for the sport, but I have a lot of friends that have went to Mississippi State, and they're doing pretty well in life. Yeah. So, you know, hey, that they're they're doing something right now. Yeah, there. that's true. But you know, state fan as well. Where my where my hometown is from, uh, about forty five minutes from Oxford. So, a lot of my classmates went to Ole Miss. You know. You know, like a mm-hmm. Matter of fact, <clears throat> now I've never really been an Ole Miss fan. Mm-hmm. Now, I tell you what, I am a fan of the city of Oxford. Oh yeah, and the way definitely. <laughs> and you have some fun in Oxford. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> have some fun and get in some you trouble. You can have some fun in Oxford. A lot of fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Too much fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, this might be the first video where we finished the whole right, thing. Like, we, we, we all moved down to yeah, the like, video, yeah, man. Mm. I'm going to finish this shrimp up. Yeah, like, G-Spot, I got kind of full. Jimmy C side, I got, well, y'all checked my tooth so I couldn't eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, in that video. Now, this one. And then we just had too much food for Sun Tradition. We mm-hmm. had way too much food for that one. Look, this is the last shrimp I got. I'm going to be sad when it's done, but I'm going to enjoy it while I got it. Yeah, all right, shrimp up. Yeah. Hey. I told you. Don't. It was worth every bite, man. And then on this video, we got a first. We got dessert. So yeah, hey, absolutely, we got dessert. We got yeah, dessert we, got, we got to keep keep room for it. Mmm. 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 One thing I can say too. It's been very exciting. Seeing the support that we have been getting, mm-hmm. I know I said in the last video, but I'll say it again. It's been a very, it's been very exciting. So we we knew you know things are gonna start out slow, but to be at the pace that we're at, it's pretty exciting. And man, I, I'm just excited to see you know how we're gonna get because me and you, yeah. we, we have a long list. We got of- a long list of restaurants that we want to try. An extreme, and then uh, people keep coming new ideas, and we keep adding to our list. So we got a long way to go. Especially for content, I can't give out the details of our of our next video, but I'm I'm excited for that one to drop mm-hmm. too. I'm excited for the next one to drop. But yeah, I'm, I'm almost done. Me too. 
I don't know if I have room for dessert. This is. And normally, like when we go out to eat, we like to get the biggest steak on the menu. Normally, so but it I'm, it is hitting the spot. The steak for two is actually hitting the spot. I remember the first time um, I tried simmer down and ordered the steak for two. Uh -huh. I actually went by myself. Yes, she and, didn't and, tell me. And, I, and I ordered it because one, it, it was cheap. Yeah, and I, I figured, you know, hey. It, it's a steak for two. It's probably like two little small steaks. Yeah. So that was what I was thinking. So I would say to order, yeah, I'll finish one. <laughs> I'll be able to finish them both. You know, no problem. And, and I knew it come with four sides. I figured they'd be like, you know, little old small size. Right. No. I wonder what your face expression was when they buy that big old plate of steak. Because it's about this big. It's a pretty big size steak. Like. Man, look. I remember. And I didn't catch on to it then. Uh -huh. But at the time that I ordered it. The waitress gave me a look. Like, <laughs> like, because I was by myself. And, uh, like, he was this damn steak by himself. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I, you know, I didn't pay it no mind, uh -huh. but now, it, now it makes sense. Cause like I said, I thought, you know, when you say steak for two all year, it ain't going to be, you know, all that, especially at the, at the price point that it was at. So I, I but I don't know my worth the money. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And then, I ain't going to lie, because the first time I tried it, you got the steak for two. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, when they bring out the plate, I'm like, are you finna eat all that right now? He was like, no, nah, I'm going to take some home. I, I thought, like, okay. Right. And, and if you remember correctly, um, when we went, the steak, I believe you got the rib by that time. Yeah, I got the rib by that time. Yeah, they they were similar, a few dollars different, mm -hmm. but similar in price. I basically had two steak meals. You had what? I agree. You know, you had a higher quality cut but i mean but as far as size yeah. wise you still got more for your buck you know mm -hmm. so then let me ask you this what's that when you eat your steak some people do some people don't do you like eating the fat on the steak oh yeah definitely that, that's actually the first thing i ate actually i don't, mm -hmm. got, I don't have any steak left on mine i always go for the fat yes sir I feel like that's where the flavor, like, it's like the, the flavor is in that fat. Yeah, yeah. The, the flavor just seeps in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish my little brother could enjoy this, you know. He's a look here vegetarian. Yeah, so. man, he, hang around <laughs> me long enough, we'll fit today. <laughs> I want that back. I'm going to eat. But definitely well seasoned. I know we don't say that a lot, but it is thoroughly seasoned. Very. As a matter of fact, I already got a trick for him. What's that? But when we get ready to grill this summer, put some meat on the grill. Man, I'm going to be offended if you don't try my food. Right. I'm going to be offended <laughs> if you don't try my food. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. That's what I'm going to do. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. And my steak is gone. Actually, a little bit of gold mine. Mm. Definitely got to chew it too. Like, mm. Mm -hmm. And that flat is just so it's good. Mm hmm. Y'all, that was amazing. That was good. That was amazing. Now, like I said, it's one of those steaks that is not very, it's not a fancy cut. It's not expensive. So, you know, you you, you get what you pay for at the end of the yes. day. Um, it is good. Well, see, it, it's, his, it's his own entity. Yes, it's own. For yes. lack of better terms. I definitely agree. Most definitely. And for me, you know, pairing it with a beer, and chug that thing down like, you good then? Oh, oh okay. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I'm about done eating next, just to try the dessert. The dessert. Gonna... So for the dessert, 
Um, we had came in as they had just ran out of banana pudding. Yeah, we had reasoned with the banana that, pudding. Yeah, that, that was going to be my go-to, but they had just ran out when we came in. You cannot go wrong with banana pudding. So, well, we got some chocolate caramel brownie bites, which it looks like to be... Give me a paper towel right quick. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I need a roll tomorrow. It looks to be... Smells good. Um, looks like it's, you know, made, freshly made. I don't have some nice caramel drizzle. Um, and you know, you can grab it, you know, directly with your hands. So, are you gonna um, be bougie and cut it like yeah, me? Yeah, you know, he, he bougie look. <laughs> me, I, I like to get up close and personal with some stuff. So, I'm just gonna have a bite into it. Hey, mm hmm, mm hmm, it's mm. pretty good. Man, one of my favorite desserts. I love a good brownie. That's a good brownie. It is good. It, oh, okay. What you guys say? But, but, but. Maybe here goes a little bit biased. Okay. I like my brownies with nuts in them. Oh no. Mm -mm. I, no I like my, no nuts. No nuts. Man, no, I sir. love brownie with nuts. No in them. sir. Mm -hmm. That that's the only thing that I. Comment below. <laughs> Team <laughs> nuts or not? With your brownies, yeah. Let us yeah. know. That that's the way I always they were always made in, in my house. So whenever I was growing up, so I just kind of you know. Wow. Maybe I got a cup to now. I'm not saying this is bad, but I actually know. like my ice cream. Ice cream, I, especially I, when they're fresh and vanilla. Get, yes, vanilla. Uh -huh. That when when the brownie is fresh, you mix it with that cold sense. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. That well, is really good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all the only thing I'm from nuts. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I ain't never like this, no sir. Mm. Never. Not with a brownie, especially not with a brownie. And usually I don't really like caramel, but it, the caramel adds a little bit to it. Yeah, the caramel, yeah. It, it blends perfectly well with it. Mm -hmm. Good. I not peachy keen. Or some milk to go to. I would mind some milk to go to. It's actually... Man, I tell you, tell you, I'm full. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Mm. <laughs> you ready to get into the fun part yes, of this? Yes, sir. Get into the rating. Yep, yeah, pop us off. Okay. Pop us off. So, we, you want to do it the same way we did last time? You can. Each individual item? You can. Right, and and it, I guess up. you can include like sides. As yeah, because well. it's part of me. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, mm. the mashed potatoes. They were good. I give them a solid eight. Okay. Um, you know, mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, didn't have um, like I said, no salt, pepper. So it of course, was, it was good. The broccoli, it was well seasoned. Uh, had like I said, that ca a little bit of little Cajun spice, peppery taste yes. to it. Um, yeah, so a little kick like to it basically. The shrimp, mm -hmm. I give the shrimp a nine. Okay. That, that was really good shrimp, Cajun shrimp. Um, wasn't too spicy. Wasn't too you know over the top or overbearing. But the flavor, you know, you taste yes. it in every piece of shrimp. And it smelled good, too. Smell. It, it smelled really good. Okay. Now, for the steak, I'm going to give the steak, and see, I'm a little bit torn, torn because it was very good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But it wasn't, I, it I wasn't know, my steak. I, I, know, but, I know where you're going with this. Because, you know, I'm going to always rate my steak a 10. So I, I, I can't give it a 10 because my steak is a 10. But if they want the truth, I'll say it's okay. true. Okay. Um, I'm going to give the steak... I say a solid nine, strong mm, nine, nine, strong nine. Um, cause and one thing, one thing I will give credit for, I ate the whole steak. Yeah, you had the whole steak with no country bobs. Yep. So that that's a plus. Um, the roll, um, it's it's, it's just a roll. I'm like, I'm not big bread either. Yeah, you know, you give it, you know, six or seven. That that's fine. But for the overall meal, um, I think I'm gonna go for the overall meal, probably. Average it out, you know. I gave some stuff. Um, eight, uh, eight, seven, nine. Then you got the little I, I'm gonna room. give the overall meal based off, you know, what we had. Eight point five. Eight point five. Eight point five. Honest opinion, I think that, that that is a good rating. For okay, so we're gonna pop up with sides. Salad, love the salad. If I can tell, fresh lettuce, eggs, and, and cheese, everything was good. 
I'm gonna give the salad a nine. It was, it was good. You can't go wrong with me. It's hard to mess up a salad. Yeah. Basically. Uh, green beans. They weren't the best. They're not the worst. They're still good. So I'm, I'm gonna give them. A, I'm gonna give them an eight point five on the green beans. I like the season on with the green beans. I can tell they use vinegar. I can. I can tell. Maybe just a little tad too much vinegar. But other besides that, had a really good taste to them. Um, what else I eat? Dinner roll, standard dinner roll. Nothing too special about it. I mean, yeah. Like we always roll. say, I mean, you you know, you got to have roll basically. So you know, I give it a seven. Steak. The steak is pretty good. It's not the best. No, I'm not gonna say my personal steak is the best, but it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's pretty good though. Honest rating, I'm gonna give the steak an eight point five. I love the way that it's seasoned, has a great taste, great, easy to cut into. Very, the texture of the steak is very good. Now, you can't go wrong with the steak, and I think the steak's what they're known for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 8.5 for the steak. What about the brownie, Jawaski? The brownie? You about the brownie? I forgot about the brownie. <laughs> See, it's, 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 it, man, you know what, I'm a little bit torn between, because like I said, I like nuts. Oh, uh, yeah, you so like nuts, that's right. So, you know, for what it is, it's good, but I... You know, it's kind of like, you know, for me, mm -hmm. you skip an ingredient when you don't put nothing. I don't, that's, you know, so I'm going to give the brownie, like I said, I, 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 I eat it, you know, uh, you know, I'm not knocking it, um, but I say, I'm going to give the brownie uh, a high six. Okay, a high six. High six, because like I said, it's just, it's just like that, that one, th that one thing means so much to me. The nuts mean a lot to you. Huh? They do. They I got do. you. Well, I'm going to give the brownie, I'm going to give the brownie an eight. Really good. I think it would be a 10 if it was hot, but of course, you know, that, that's that's not really important, but the brownie was good. I, I'm highly satisfied with the brownie. Overall meal, I'm going to go with Jawaski. I'm going to say 8.5. The price that you get is phenomenal. Like, what we paid for this and what you'll be getting is definitely your money's worth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, um, we, me and Tay um, mutually agreed that we wouldn't share exact prices on what we paid for the food because we don't want to. You know, we don't want to bash businesses bad, because, because you know, because yeah, inflation is a thing right now. But what I will say is, even with inflation being a thing, this meal for both of us, two steak dinners, it was under fifty bucks. Yeah, yes. so I, that is, I know, you like, know, yeah, that, that know, ain't bad. You know, mm -hmm. two sides a roll. I had shrimp skewers, um, and dessert. Of course, under, under fifty under bucks. 50, that's not bad. You know. Mm -hmm. If it hadn't been bad, if the food hadn't been no good, we really couldn't complain. I mean, you get what you pay for right. in this world. But quality wise, like we can tell it's home cooked, air right. fresh ingredients. This is you. You get your money's worth. Right. So salute to uh, Simmer Down. This is really good. Absolutely. Definitely. So, all right, y'all. That, that's our. That's it's Jaws and Tate. That's our review for Simmer Down in Bowl, Mississippi. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share. Anything you want to add to it, boss man? Um, not really. Hey, like we always say, um, let us know where you want us to go. The, you yep. know where we're, and keep in mind, every time you make a suggestion, we are adding stuff to the list. It's gonna take us a, t a little bit of time to get to everything, but just know we are taking notes of where what y'all want to see and where you want us to go. Oh, and definitely. once again, to businesses out there, um, if you want us to come and check out your food. Hit us up. We will come and check out your food. But once again, our disclaimer: we, we will be honest. We will be if honest. your food is trash, we are gonna let you know. Yes. Oh, and also, not just businesses. Hey, if you um, if you're a caterer and you cook, or you know you're trying to, you have a food truck, or you know you just like to cook and you want us to showcase something that you cook, hit us up and let us know. We'll do it. We but do it. we will be honest. We ain't gonna protect your feelings. Oh, we will not. So, and I'll, I will also link a uh, Simmer Down specific page in the uh, description just in case anybody wants to try out their page and see like, their address or their hours. They do have different hours. So, yep, that's that. Yep. All right, y'all. See y'all on the next one. On the next one. Peace. Peace.